Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'll cover natural ways to get rid of aphids from your garden. Now, you can apply the same technique to get rid of other soft body insects such as white flies and spider mites. So, let's get started. Aphids are one of the most common pests in the garden. You can see aphids forming in groups on the stems of your plants. Disclaimer, I'm going to show really close up shots of some bugs. So, if you don't like bugs, maybe you want to listen to the sections of this video. There are many different kinds of aphids, such as black aphids and green aphids. Aphids like to hide under the leaves right near the stem of the plants. If left unchecked, aphids can really get hold of your plants and even end up killing your plants. Ants also farm and protect aphids just like humans farm cows and goats. Ants feed on the secretion or dew produced by aphids. So if you have an aphid problem and you see a lot of ants around your plants, you will also need to get rid of the ants. I made a video on 10 natural ways to get rid of ants and also a way to make an ant trap that you can put around your plants. One of the natural ways to get rid of aphids is with the help of ladybugs and lacewings. Ladybugs and lacewings are natural predators of aphids and will eat aphids. Ladybugs live for one year and one ladybug can get rid of 5,000 aphids in its lifetime. You can also buy ladybugs from your gardening or hardware store as well. I also made a video on 5 beneficial insects you must have in your garden. Check the video out if you are interested. I'll leave a link to the video in the description. The best way to get rid of aphids is to use neem oil and soap spray. You can get neem oil from Amazon or your local gardening store. Make sure you use natural pure castle soap derived from natural oils. Mix 1 tablespoon of neem oil and 1 tablespoon of soap to 1 gallon of water, which is about 3.7 liters. If only using neem oil or soap, use 2 tablespoons to 1 gallon of water. I have lots of aphids on my radish plants. I'm letting these radish go to seed so that I can collect the seeds to plant next year. I sprayed the flowers and stem of radish plants with neem oil and soap spray. After three days, the spray gets rid of all the aphids. The plants are growing stronger and taller and producing lots of flowers. Neem oil and soap both seem to work really well to get rid of aphids and other soft body insects. But I want to find out which one of these two is more effective in getting rid of aphids. So I'm going to do an experiment. I'm using this plastic container you get when you buy spinach. I'm placing some water in the container to keep the cutting of plants hydrated. First I'm making a control system. I took a stem with lots of aphids and placed it in the water in the container. I then close the first container which will serve as a control. Nothing enters or leaves the container besides the air. Second, I did the same for soap with a cutting of stem with lots of aphids. I placed the cutting in water inside the container and sprayed the aphids with soap solution and closed the container. Third, I got a stem full of aphids for neem oil test. I placed the stem in the container and sprayed the aphids with neem oil solution and covered the container. Fourth and last, I sprayed the cutting full of aphids with neem oil and soap solution and covered the container. After 24 hours, I opened the control environment and dislodged some of the aphids. As you can see, these aphids are well and alive. This means the control system works. The aphids are not dying due to lack of air, vegetation, or any other reason. The control is important to set a baseline for every experiment. Next, I opened the soap container and all the aphids have turned black and died with the soap spray. Neem oil has similar results. All the aphids are dead with the use of neem oil solution. Next is neem oil and soap container. Similarly, all the aphids have turned black and died with the neem oil and soap spray. So neem oil and soap all by themselves are perfectly capable of getting rid of aphids and other soft body insects. However, if you combine both neem oil and soap, you'll get rid of other insects in your garden as well. However, soap is a much cheaper option than using neem oil. So if you only have aphid infestation, just use soap. And that was the purpose of that experiment. Just make sure to use pure castor soap which is derived from natural ingredients and natural oils.
I hate killing insects. There's no part of me that enjoys killing these insects. However, it's a necessity for me to kill these insects to grow my own food. I'm a vegetarian and that's because I don't like to kill animals. It's my own personal choice. There's no judgment against anyone who eats meat. If you eat meat, that's perfectly fine. That's your choice. However, it took me a really long time to make peace with myself to kill these insects because all insects are animals. So finally, I settled on a notion that if these insects attack my food, it's okay for me to kill these insects. And that's basically what I settled on. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found this video informative and I'll see you in another video.